Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Rebirth, Octopus at the Beginning, Becoming the God of Cthulhu. Chapter 36 Both parties reached a consensus on cooperation and each got what they needed. Since the last beast tied in Northern Fortress No. 1 ended, a large amount of flesh and blood from evolved beasts and mutant beasts have turned many ordinary people into evolved ones. And a large number of evolvers are being added to the fortress every day, which gives them a qualitative breakthrough in the all-employee evolution plan among their five major plans. If you eat the food made by evolved beasts for a long time, it will not only turn ordinary people into evolved ones, but also allow the evolved ones to accelerate their evolution. However, relying solely on humans' own team of evolvers to hunt is far less efficient. It is also easy to lead to the phenomenon of being caught by the sun instead of hunting, so Lu Feng can help them obtain a large number of evolved beast corpses, and they are all secretly enjoying themselves. Lu Feng felt something in the sky at this moment. He found three level 4 beast kings within a radius of 10,000 kilometers, namely a giant eagle, a giant python and a buffalo. The big eagle was the one that attacked him last time. Unfortunately, this big eagle is a solitary animal and has no younger brothers. And the giant python has the most followers, followed by the buffalo. The fortress sent out more than a dozen reconnaissance teams a few days ago just to find out the location of the level 4 beast king for Lu Feng. At this time, most of the investigation team had returned, and they also shared the investigation information with Lu Feng. In the northern snow mountains, there is not only the giant eagle, but also a white giant ape, which is also level 4. They found a black wolf king to the west of the fortress, and two grey giant ape kings to the south. Moreover, the tribes established by these two giant ape kings contain a large number of ape-like evolved beasts. The spiritual wine that the southern fortress wanted to steal was brewed by this tribe. No matter how far away the beast king is, he is no longer within the dragon kingdom, and the investigation team did not go too far into the outside world to investigate. After getting the information, Lu Feng already had five targets, except for the big eagle. However, if the big eagle dares to sneak attack him, he will definitely not spare the opponent according to his character. Then he immediately sent five clones to fly in five directions, leaving one clone with the death ray to guard the fortress, and his body flew directly to the position of the big eagle. Two hours later, he arrived near the snow-capped mountains. In his perception, the big eagle was sleeping and had not noticed his whereabouts at all. His camouflage skills have reached its peak. If he doesn't show up proactively, no one will be able to detect him. A few minutes later, he had reached the sky above the big eagle. The big eagle's nest was built on the cliff, which saves it from a lot of harassment when it sleeps. Advanced spiritual eyes, starts. Come to sleep, silly bird. Lu Feng said in his heart. He wants to crush the big eagle's consciousness in his dream. Originally sleeping well, the big eagle's consciousness suddenly entered a dream state, and it was falling rapidly. Birds are not afraid of heights because they can fly. It immediately spread its wings and flapped vigorously, but as it flapped, it fell faster, which immediately caused panic in its heart. Plop, its body fell into the sea, and a feeling of suffocation instantly came over it. It was flapping its wings hard, and its two giant claws were clawing at it frantically, but its body was still sinking to the bottom of the sea. No, I don't want to be drowned, Da Diao said anxiously in his heart. The feeling of suffocation is getting stronger and stronger, its body is gradually losing control, and its consciousness is slowly becoming blurred. But in reality, Lu Feng smiled, yes, you are almost dead, dead. A few seconds later, the head of the big eagle in reality hung down helplessly, and its eyes turned white, looking unconscious. Call out, a water arrow shot through the head of the big eagle instantly from the air, and now it was completely dead. At this time, a huge tentacle stretched out from the air, and immediately pulled the body of the big eagle into the air, and soon disappeared. The entire death process of the big eagle only took a few seconds, and no living creature noticed anything strange here. After putting the big eagle's body into his backpack, Lu Feng turned around and flew back to the fortress. In the fortress, because the government allocated too much evolved beast flesh and blood to Miao Sunning and her daughter, some gangsters discovered and united the people to cause trouble collectively. General Liu, if you don't give us a reasonable explanation, we won't be able to get through this matter. Said a shrew. 
Miao Sunning and her daughter were looking nervously at the crowd in front of them. They had no idea why these people would suddenly cause trouble for them. And they even beat up their security team. When General Liu heard the news, he immediately led his troops to control the scene, so that Miao Sunning and her daughter were not harmed. Yes, you must give us an explanation. Why can the two of them live in a villa and be given the flesh and blood of such an evolved beast? A gangster yelled again. Isn't this the lover of a high-ranking official in your government? Yes, yes, and mother and daughter are together. Dot 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 dot. The unpleasant words broke out immediately, and the negative emotions of the people were completely ignited by these words. General Liu narrowed his eyes slightly. As a soldier, he was not afraid of fighting, but he was helpless in the face of these crowds. At this time, Zhang Xiaoyi rushed to look at the situation at the scene. She immediately came to Miao Sunning and asked, Xiao Ning, are you okay? Sister Xiaoya, you are finally here. We are fine, but Captain Wang and the team members were beaten and injured. Miao Sunning said worriedly. Zhang Xiaoya patted Miao Suning's hand, then turned around and came to the crowd. Who gave you the courage to hit someone? Zhang Xiaoya's first sentence was so domineering. Hey, who do I think it is? It turns out to be our Dr. Zhang Da. Why don't you do research well and why are you here? Said a middle-aged fat man. Many people at the scene knew Zhang Xiaoya, and everyone also knew that she was the niece of the number one leader. HMPH, why do I need you to take care of me? You hurt innocent people, and you still gathered together to make trouble. Do you all want to be caught and put in jail? Zhang Xiaoya said without showing any signs of weakness. Ha ha, Dr. Zhang, please don't scare us. Don't forget what era we are in now. Are you still in jail? Yes, yes. You high-minded people know how to exploit poor people like us. You all have black hearts. We are not convinced that these two girls got so much just after they came to our fortress. Unless you allocate the same flesh and blood to all of us, this matter will never end. Someone in the crowd shouted. Ever since everyone knew that the flesh and blood of evolved beasts could allow ordinary people to become evolved, everyone began to feel excited. Who doesn't want to be an evolver? This kind of superior existence is what everyone wants. In addition, becoming an evolver can also gain a more powerful body and abilities, and you will also receive more preferential treatment and benefits from the fortress. As this person shouted these words, everyone in the audience shouted. The soldiers in the front row immediately used their shields to block the crowd and started to boo. At this time, the crowd was out of control. General Liu took out his pistol and fired a shot into the sky. Everyone was shocked and stopped pushing. First of all, you have to explain to the leader of the fortress. Secondly, if you want the flesh and blood of the evolved beast, you can take credit in exchange for it. Thirdly, if you dare to cause trouble, then arrest them all. General Liu shouted. Credit, do these new girls have any merit? You are treating them unequally. This is a naked act of hegemony. We protest. 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 Dot 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 dot. Miao Sunning was a little scared at this time. She quietly grabbed her mother's sleeves and didn't dare to move. Her mother Zhang Shulan said to Zhang Xiaoya, How about we don't want the meat anymore and give it to them? Zhang Xiaoya showed an intriguing smile. Auntie should be yours no less, don't worry. Then she shouted to everyone. One thing I want to tell you is that we are not the only ones who have the final say in this fortress, there are also stronger beings. The mother and daughter you are threatening are the people that the powerful being cares about. I advise you not to be confused. A stronger existence. Is it a general or a leader? No matter who it is, he must give us a reasonable explanation, otherwise he will give me the same flesh and blood of the evolved beast. The middle-aged fat man said again. The crowd started quarreling again. And the noise became more and more intense, and soon everyone started making noise again. Zhang Xiaoya shook her head helplessly. It seemed that she could not appease these idiots. After a while, the soldiers in the front row were rushed away, and hundreds of thousands of people began to smash up, just when a gangster was about to sneak attack Miao Sunning. A terrifying coercion shocked everyone. Except for Miao Sunning, her daughter and Zhang Xiaoya, everyone else at the scene was silent. Call out. Ah, a water arrow fell from the sky and hit the gangster's arm, and he screamed in pain. Which one of you wants to explain? Lu Feng's voice came into everyone's mind. 
This terrifying sound made everyone tremble. Zhang Xiaoya glanced at everyone as if watching a good show, weren't you working hard just now? Why are you so scared now? Only then did everyone realize who the stronger being in Zhang Xiaoya's mouth was. Damn it. I actually provoked this master. This is so f ked up. Why is no one talking? Did you turn a deaf ear to what I said? At this time, a middle-aged man wearing glasses bowed his hands to the sky and said, Great Emperor, we are the ones who cannot see the mountains. Your Majesty, you don't care about the faults of villains, please spare us. Yes, yes, Emperor, you are so arrogant. This time it was our fault for not considering it. The middle-aged fat man explained. Do you know how to beg for mercy now? Let me tell you, this girl is protected by this emperor. If you dare to provoke her, you have angered me. After Lu Feng finished speaking, he arrested the gangsters who were leading the trouble. Several people were trembling. They had never seen this scene before. Great emperor, I was wrong. Please spare me. I have an old man above me and a young man below me. I can't die. Great emperor, don't kill me. I agree to whatever you say, don't kill me. Dot 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 dot. Several people begged loudly for mercy and cried bitterly. Ha ha, I have no intention of killing you, why are you so nervous? He threw these people directly outside the fortress, and then said to Zhang Xiaoya and others, these people are prohibited from entering the city in the future, let them fend for themselves outside. General Lu immediately replied, yes, promise not to let them enter the city. The three leaders have told several generals that the Abyss Emperor cannot be disobedient. As long as the Emperor does not massacre the city, anything can be said. Lu Feng nodded with satisfaction and then disappeared from everyone's eyes. The pressure disappeared and the crowd returned to normal. At this time, they looked at Miao Sunning and her daughter with fear in their eyes. Zhang Xiaoya also complained at the side, now you are happy. You can cause trouble wherever you go. There are some beings that you can't afford. The crowd dispersed, and they kept silent about the matter from then on. They feel that the government's special care for this mother and daughter is appropriate, and even feels that it is not enough. Miao Sunning looked up at the sky. She never understood why this big octopus cared for her so much. Zhang Xiaoya, who returned to the laboratory, immediately said to the heir, Great Emperor. Did you just pull Taikora? Lu Feng heard it, but didn't bother her. By the way, Emperor, our spiritual rain collection device has been installed. How do you feel? Zhang Xiaoya suddenly thought of this and asked. Too little. There will be a lot of rainfall in Lingyu this time, and the ones you installed are not enough. Lu Feng said bluntly. I understand, then I will continue to increase the spiritual rain collection device. Northern Fortress Number 1 has returned to normal development frequency. Three of the five clones sent by Lu Feng have successfully completed the fishing mission. But the three ape kings in the north and south were not fooled. Sure enough, the IQ of primates is much higher. There are two giant apes in the south. Not only did they not chase them, they also ordered the tribe's ape brothers not to go out in the near future. The white giant ape in the north is as unmoved as an old monk. NND, these three hanging apes are not fooled. Lu Feng complained. Do you have to go and kill them in your own body to be happy? Level 4 to level 5 is the first hurdle for biological evolution. Those who can cross this hurdle will basically have a hard time dying. But the vast majority of creatures stay at level 3 and below. Some have insufficient bloodline power, some have insufficient energy, and some have racial restrictions. Among the three beast kings attracted, the buffalo is the strongest. Fortunately, this cow can't fly, otherwise the clones he sent would be killed by the buffalo on the spot. But cows do have a bad temper, and if you dare to provoke them, you must pay a price. At this time, three beast tides were running towards the northern fortress number. 1. The western fortress and the southern fortress of Dragon Kingdom simultaneously sent emergency messages to the northern fortress number. 1. The general content of the message is that there are currently three waves of beasts of different sizes heading towards your fortress, please be prepared for defense. Several chiefs and generals immediately organized the personnel in the fort to make defense arrangements. Leader number one said respectfully to the heir, Great Emperor. This time, three waves of beasts are coming to attack the city. Can you handle it? Excuse me, this is exactly what I brought to you, so of course I can handle it. 
This is just what Lu Feng thinks in his heart, how dare he say it to others? Don't worry, these shrimp soldiers and crabs will not threaten me at all. Lu Feng replied. Well, that's good, that's good. Chief number one felt relieved. At this time, an officer reported, Commanders, the beast tide from the north is expected to arrive here in three hours. The beast tide from the south is expected to arrive in four and a half hours, and the beast tide from the west will take five and a half hours. Yeah, I got it. Get all departments ready, check all weapons and equipment, and get ready for war. Chief number one said seriously. Yes, everyone in the fortress became nervous at this moment. Although there was Lu Feng's assistance, some people would inevitably die when the beasts attack the city. No one wants to die. But it's hard to say whose head death will fall on. Lu Feng paid attention to all this indifferently, and then he cast an illusion on the fortress. What was originally a huge fortress base that had just been covered by it had now turned into a forest. And a fortress exactly like the fortress appeared 10 kilometers west of the fortress. This is the ability of his, advanced spiritual eyes, which can create mirages in reality. Moreover, the degree of reality of this mirage is quite high, and it can be completely confused with the real one. Soon, when the first wave of beasts was about to arrive at Northern Fortress No. 1, they suddenly turned and ran towards the hill 10 kilometers away. At this time, the fortress sent out a large number of drones to take pictures and monitor it, and there was a steel fortress 10 kilometers away. It looked exactly like the fortress here. Chief, what is going on? Why did a second steel fortress appear to the west of us? Asked a general. Could it be that the Dragon Kingdom secretly built the number? Two northern fortress again. This is not right, because the two forts are too close. Zhang Xiaoya suddenly thought of something and immediately asked to the sky, Great Emperor, is this your masterpiece? Haha, <laughs> you think so fast. You immediately thought of me. Lu Feng's voice appeared in everyone's minds. At this time, everyone woke up. When the beasts attacked the city for the first time, everyone and the beasts fell asleep collectively. This shows that Emperor Abyss has the ability to control the consciousness of others and is quite perverted. Many evolvers in the fortress want to awaken spiritual powers, but there are only one or two among millions of evolvers. The spiritual powers of these two people are still very weak and can only affect some ordinary people. Thank you, Emperor, otherwise we would definitely have killed or injured some of our people. Chief Number One immediately thanked him. Lu Feng did not respond, but continued to pay attention to the trends of the Beast Tide in the West. The Beast Tide numbered more than 300,000, and it was led by the Python King. Among them, there are tens of thousands of Level 3 Evolved Beasts, and as time goes by, there are more and more Level 3 Evolved Beasts. This makes Lu Feng even more happy, and the number of level 3 crystals will increase. At this time, the beast tide led by the giant python king had surrounded the fake steel fortress, but they did not launch an attack, seemingly waiting for something. Get out of here, you damn smelly octopus! The python king roared angrily. At this time, an octopus flew into the sky from the steel fortress, but this octopus was also fake. Okay, you have indeed colluded with humans. It really embarrasses our beast king. The python king continued to curse. What about Nanani's legs? I can go with whoever I want to be with. How the hell do you count? The phantom octopus began to spray. Lu Feng will not spoil these beast kings, he will spray when he needs to. You, you will know what regret means after a while. Although the python king was angry, he suppressed it. The beasts had no intention of attacking. It seemed that the python king was waiting for something. Lu Feng immediately thought of two other beasts. Could it be that this guy has already contacted the other two beast kings? Let's take a look first. If there were three waves of beasts at the same time, it would save him three attacks. The beast surrounded and refused to attack, and this lasted for more than an hour. At this time, another wave of beasts rushed to the outskirts of the fake fortress, and a huge black wolf king came out first. Monster King, are you sure? Black Wolf King asked without hesitation. Well, it's this smelly octopus that has hooked up with humans. Haha, <laughs> this octopus is really cute and playful. It dares to provoke us at the same time. It will die soon after the Green Ox King arrives. The Black Wolf King showed a ruthless look. After Lu Feng carefully observed, this Black Wolf King led a herd of nearly 500,000 beasts, including more than 30,000 level 3 evolved beasts. 
This makes Lu Feng very happy. But at this time, everyone in the fortress here was breaking out in cold sweat. The more than 800,000 beasts in front of them were like a giant. If they really wanted to attack their fortress, they would definitely not be able to defend it. If you can't even hold on for an hour, you will be breached. Soon after more than an hour passed, suddenly there was a tremor from the distance, and a large amount of smoke and dust rose from the sky. From the drone footage, everyone saw a large number of bison, wild horses, wild deer and other evolved beasts. The number is estimated to be more than 300,000. And in front of them is a huge green bull that is 150 meters long and 90 meters wide. Moo! The giant green bull roared loudly, and the evolved beast behind immediately stopped running. King Green Ox, you're finally here, the Python King said in a huff. The Green Ox King looked at the direction where the giant Python King and the Black Wolf King were. The three kings were standing in different directions. The Black Wolf King had the largest number of beasts under his command, but the quality of the herd was slightly better than that of the Green Ox King. The Blue Bull King has more than 50,000 level 3 evolved beasts alone, while the other two beast kings only have about 50,000 level 3 evolved beasts combined. Black Wolf King, Python King, please forgive me. I am a little late. Haha, ha, you're welcome, King Green Ox. Since you've arrived, let's tear these humans and that stinky octopus apart together. The Black Wolf King said impatiently. Wait a moment, I feel something is wrong. The Green Ox King immediately sent out a burst of energy to start the fortress. As it probed, the Green Ox King's brows furrowed more and more tightly. The Black Wolf King on the side was already impatient. Green Ox King, what are you waiting for? It has already lost its wings and can hardly fly. At this moment, the Green Ox King suddenly looked shocked and said, No. This is a trap. After the Green Ox King finished speaking, a burst of purple energy quickly covered the entire area. Millions of beasts and three beast kings fell into the illusion one after another. Everyone in the fortress saw from the video that the beasts fell to the ground one by one, and they all fell asleep. The only one who didn't fall down was the green bull king, which was still shaking its head. But the power of the illusion exceeded its mental power, and it fell to the ground with a bang after more than 10 seconds. This stunned everyone in the fortress. Killing millions of evolved beasts with one move is too abnormal. So far, no one doubts Lu Feng's strength, and the three leaders have already begun to brew new plans. This Abyss Emperor has such terrifying abilities and requires deep cooperation. If these more than 1 million beast corpses are brought into the fortress, it will basically allow 50% of the ordinary people in the fortress to become evolvers. And it can also allow humans who are already evolved to go one step further. The three leaders looked at each other, and they all saw excitement and hope in each other's eyes. Just when everyone was surprised, Lu Feng's true form appeared. At this moment, everyone can see the huge octopus in the sky, blocking out the sun. He stretched out a tentacle and pointed in the direction of the herd to the west, and a gray energy continued to gather at the top of his tentacle. Except the mental distortion, Lu Feng said strangely. This move is, psychic distortion, and this is the first time he uses it after evolving. Before evolution, this trick was a passive talent, so it was basically of little use. This time he wanted to see the effect of this move. Grey energy quickly enveloped all the sleeping beasts, turning themselves into unknown monsters in their dreams. And his body is still being torn apart, not so much the tearing of the body as the tearing of the consciousness. Only a moment passed in the real world, but these beasts in the dream experienced countless years of torture. At this time, the consciousness of each evolved beast began to dissipate, and gradually became brain dead. As time slowly passed, except for the three beast kings who were still struggling, all the other beasts in the herd lost consciousness. In this way, their bodies are completely preserved, and their crystals are not destroyed. Feeling the three beast kings struggling hard in the illusion, he showed an amiable smile. Struggle. The more you struggle, the happier I will be. Ha ha. Lu Feng said with a smile. After a while, the Green Bull King suddenly roared, and a blue energy ball rose from its forehead and suddenly hit itself. Boom, the energy ball blasted a wound on the Green Ox King's back, and blood flowed out. Its eyes gradually became clearer. Although it suffered some injuries, it was still worth it to get rid of the illusion and death. Hoo ho, it's my talent that helped me, otherwise I would have ended up here today. 
the green ox king said in horror. Then it immediately rushed towards the other two beast kings and attacked them with its horns. The giant python king and the black wolf king also woke up from the illusion after being attacked, and they looked at the green ox king gratefully. Brother Niu, I have remembered this kindness, said the python king. The black wolf king also said the same grateful words to the green ox king, but the green ox king didn't care that its eyes were staring eastward. Our two enemies are still here, don't be careless, the green ox king said seriously. The three beast kings immediately looked eastward. There were seven octopuses in the sky ten kilometers away, including one big one and six small ones. The big one is Lu Feng's body, and the two sides are looking at each other. It turns out you are the mastermind behind the scenes, Black Wolf King said angrily. Lu Feng glanced at them with disdain and said, TCH. I didn't kill you in the dream just now, so you are lucky. You dare to look at me like this now, you are seeking death. PFF. A thick purple laser beam shot directly at the three kings. The green ox king found something was wrong and dodged away. The black wolf king and the giant python king were half a beat too slow to react before they were hit by the ray. The two kings instantly fell to the ground and stopped moving, not even breathing. But there was no damage on their bodies. This purple ray directly hit the enemy's soul consciousness. Level 4 beast kings like these can't resist Lu Fang's death ray at all. The green ox king who rushed to the side realized that something was wrong and immediately ran away desperately. This is so f king scary, it's completely impossible to fight. Originally it thought it could escape intact even if it couldn't defeat the opponent, but it didn't expect this octopus to be so terrifying. Please slip away first as a courtesy. However, the green bull king's running speed is fast enough, exceeding the speed of the wind. After running away for a few minutes, it discovered that there were no pursuers behind it, which made the green ox king's tense state relax a bit. Ha, I finally escaped. The green ox king was sweating all over his body. At this moment, a strange voice came from above it, why don't you run away? Are you tired? The green ox king immediately felt like he had fallen into an ice cave. You, can you spare my life? I can agree to anything. The green ox king said hurriedly. Oh, but what can you do for me? Lu Feng asked. I, I can do anything. My combat power is considered top-notch among the fourth-level beast kings. I can help you attract other beast kings, and I can also help you collect genius treasures. Lu Feng didn't speak and started to think. For him, the corpse and crystals of a level 4 beast king could not bring much change to him. But I don't have the means to control the other party. If this guy doesn't keep his word, it will be difficult. Correct. Although I don't have the means to enslave others, I can pretend that I do. The green ox king thought he had not said enough and added again, I can also help humans protect the city. I used to be a human farming cow, and I am familiar with cooperating with humans. Dot 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 dot. Since you have experience in this area, it's not impossible not to kill you. Then Lu Feng condensed a ball of purple energy and poured it into the green ox king's mind, this emperor has planted a mark of death on you. As long as you dare to have the slightest thought of disobeying me, the mark will explode in your mind. You know the consequences yourself. Yes, yes, I don't dare. Thank you so much, Emperor, for not killing me. From today on, I will be your most loyal slave. The Green Ox King said with great joy. Well, let's follow this Emperor back to the city first. A few minutes later, Lu Feng took the Green Ox King back to the outskirts of the fortress. Everyone looked puzzled when they saw this scene. From today on, this green bull king is the guardian beast of this city. You must treat it well, Lu Feng said loudly. This, everyone showed surprised expressions. Several leaders and generals of the fortress were first surprised and then ecstatic. Soon, several leaders were escorted by the team of evolvers to the outside of the city, and Zhang Xiaoya followed them out. The green ox king was as honest as a farm cow at this time, staring at the humans in front of him with a kind face. Great emperor, can I touch it? Zhang Xiaoya asked. Lu Feng nodded, and Zhang Xiaoya immediately stepped forward and stroked the green bull king. These muscles are really stone, as if they are harder than steel. Zhang Xiaoya said happily. The green bull king showed disdain at this time and said, steel. What a piece of junk. My body is as strong as a diamond. Wow, 
It's a pity that I can't study your flesh and blood tissue. Zhang Xiaoya said what was in her heart. Dot 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 dot. Chief number one said at this time, Xiaoya is joking. Don't take it seriously, King Ching Niu. If you have any needs, just tell me and I will arrange it for you. The green ox king raised his head and glanced at Lu Fang. How dare he ask for anything? He just wants whatever is given. Lu Feng said at this time, just treat it like a normal beast king. Build it a residence outside the city, and it will find food by itself. Okay, no problem. Chief number one returned. Then the green ox king lay down outside the fortress and fell asleep, while Lu Feng flew into the sky and entered a transparent camouflage state. The people in the fortress began to carry the millions of evolved beast corpses. They were tired and tired. More than ten hours later, the corpses of all the evolved beasts were carried to the fortress, and the crystals in the corpses were peeled off. According to statistics, a total of 6,520 first-order energy crystals, 2,455 second-order energy crystals, 11 43rd-order energy crystals, and two fourth-order energy crystals were harvested this time. He collected all the crystals and the corpses of the two beast kings and started refining them. At this time, he had begun to focus on multiple tasks, controlling six clones to go out to seduce the beast kings while refining the energy crystals. The last focus was on sensing the surrounding situation. Unfortunately, the chance of a first or second level evolved beast containing crystals is not high. Only a third level evolved beast has a certain chance of giving birth to energy crystals. Hee <laughs> hee, what a great harvest this time. After refining this batch of crystals and refining the energy points, it will be enough to evolve to level 6. Lu Feng said happily in his heart. Open black lens bracket ding. The host absorbs level 1 energy crystal and obtains 1000 energy points. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket ding. The host absorbs level 1 energy crystal and obtains 1000 energy points. Close black lens bracket. Dot 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 dot. It took him three days and three nights to refine all the first level energy crystals, but his energy points increased by 6.52 million. At this time, there was a feeling of hunger in his stomach again. As expected, multitasking is very energy consuming. The giant apes in the north and south directions were still unmoved. He controlled his clones many times to harass the opponent, but all failed, which made him give up on these three giant apes. Instead of wasting time here, it's better to look for other level 4 beast kings. I took a look at the mission time and saw that there were still 17 days and 14 hours before the second spiritual energy recovery. According to the speed at which he was refining crystals, it would take at least 5 days to refine all the second and third level crystals. And the next evolution will take at least 3 days, and it may take more than that. Therefore, he needs to reserve 7 days for evolution. After all, he doesn't have much time left. Let's fill our stomachs first. Lu Feng took out the corpse of the fourth level beast king and started to devour it. Open black lens bracket ding. The host devours, level 4 black wolf king, and gains 5000 energy points. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket ding. The host devours, level 4 python king, and obtains 4000 energy points. Close black lens bracket. Dot 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 dot. These two level 4 beast kings are not small in size, so the energy points contained in their flesh and blood are not as much as that of the tiger king. After eating, his energy points increased by another 320,000, and then he entered the state of refining and crystallization again. The green ox king has built a residence in the past few days, and all arrangements have been made for it to protect it from rain, rain, cold and moisture. Although this cow is a level 4 beast king, it is still a vegetarian. When he was hungry, he went to the fortress to find some spiritual grass and spiritual fruits to eat. He also brought back some spiritual fruits to Lu Feng. But Lu Feng was too lazy to eat one, which only added a few hundred points of energy, and told the green ox king that these spiritual fruits were useless to him. The green ox king was like a lost child, with his head lowered and not knowing what to do. Give these spiritual fruits to a woman in the fortress, her name is Miao Sunning. Lu Feng said through the message. Yes, great emperor. The green ox king immediately sent all the spiritual fruits into the fortress with a bang. 
These spiritual fruits may be just a gap between Lu Feng's teeth, but they are quite precious to ordinary people or human evolutionaries. The energy contained in the spirit fruit is easier to absorb by humans than the flesh and blood of evolved beasts, and it tastes great too. Although the seduction of the six clones for several days aroused the anger of the two beast kings, these two beast kings were not in the dragon kingdom. They were too far away, and the other party was too lazy to pursue them. That's the end of it. The only kings of beasts in the dragon kingdom are the three giant apes. It seems that it will not be easy to trigger a beast tide in a short time. At this point, he no longer used the fishing law enforcement plan, and immediately controlled all the clones and returned to the fortress. After six days, all the energy crystals were refined by him, including those level 4 ones. All energy crystals obtained a total of 30.545 million energy points. In addition to the 1.98 million energy points gained from eating level 4 rations in these six days, an average of one meal a day, and finally adding the remaining 5.367 million, he now has a total of 37.892 million energy points accumulated. Although he is still more than 2 million short of his goal of 40 million energy points, there are still 11 days left, which is enough for him to complete his goal. Even if he just devoured the corpse of the fourth level beast king every day, the energy points he gained would be enough to reach 40 million. In order to prevent unexpected situations, he chose to start evolving now. Then he left three clones to guard the fortress, and then his body quietly left here with the three clones and went to the sea. He left without telling anyone, which made everyone think he was always here. After arriving at the depths of the seabed, I checked the surroundings and found that there was nothing unusual. I then placed three clones in three different directions of my body to prepare for the warning. At this time, his consciousness sank into the system, and he quickly opened the Evolution Tree page to find the evolution node of Void Monitor and clicked on it. Open black lens bracket ding. You have met the requirements to evolve, Void Monitor. This evolution took seven days. Do you want to spend 10 million energy points to evolve? Close black lens bracket. Yes. Start evolving. As soon as he finished speaking, a wave of energy slowly entered his body, and he fell into a deep sleep in less than 10 seconds. At this time, a purple crack opened from the seabed space, and the crack revealed this terrifying, mysterious, destructive, and strange atmosphere. At this moment, the crack was getting bigger and bigger. When the crack opened to a size of a hundred meters, a suction force sucked Lu Feng directly in, and then the crack closed instantly. Weird scene Lu Feng knew at all that his current body was no longer in the dimension of Blue Star, but had come to the Void Plane. Countless purple energy continued to gather into his body, and purple runes appeared all over his body, including eight tentacles, faintly flashing with this light. The location where he landed was a huge floating rock, with traces of purple energy emerging from the rock. And outside the huge rock is a void of purple space, boundless. There are large and small gravels floating in this space. There is no air here, let alone living things. As time went by, the purple lines on his body became clearer. But in this space, you can't feel the existence of time at all. No one knows how long it has passed. They can only see the changes in Lu Feng's body. The boundless dark energy of the void seems to be everything in this space. Nothingness. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.